welcome. I'm making this because I need your help. I need your help to produce resources for the zero to four years in this community for books in their language. At the moment, the kids, if they have books in home, they're in English and the kids don't speak English until they're exposed to it at school. Most parents speak young, read Yungamata because there's a bilingual school in the community. And it would break my heart. I'd go to the playgroup and see the parents being provided with an English book and the parents re able to read this English book to their kids, but the kids just not understanding it. At best, they were glorified picture books. At worst, the kids were completely disengaged. Now, kids learn to read because either they see reading as being meaningful or they see have you know, enjoyable memories of being read to, or they enjoy it themselves. And kids are not going to get that if they don't have books in their language in the home. And so I've been producing books that are board books. So, for example, Galunk, which is a popular kids' song, Galunk Went the Little Green Frog. This one here is in Jumbaponyo. And what it is is just a very simple picture book, text in Jumbaponyo. But what it is is it's made out of the cardboard from spiral bound notebooks and this means it's more durable and can be used in the home particularly for that zero to four age group where people are worried about you know, like paper books being not so durable I know, I know my two boys we've got a box that's literally called um, books in need of TLC because we have to go through and sticky tape them back together continually and that includes board books and that's why it's really important for me that these are very cost effective and cheap. So to get these produced anywhere would be ranging between $15 and $25 per book, which is just simply outside the price range of most people here who live below the poverty line. So being able to use the spiral bound notebooks, uh, the backs of them, for example, the back of this sketch pad here, that can produce a few books from that. And so Really, I need your money to be able to pay for the costs such as postage from people that are collecting these cardboards around Australia for use, for materials to print on. So, for, uh, for example, I have drawn the pictures here. We're going to be scanning them, and then we'll be able to print them out. But we need coloured ink, we need paper, all those sorts of things to be able to produce multiple copies of this. So we actually have the books the stories, we have the illustrations, we have all the necessary things to be able to make this possible, to be able to put books in home that are in first language that kids can understand. What we need is more money so that we can produce more of them because it's good to have a couple but it would be better to have more. Um, we have looked down the route of getting them published professionally but then what you have is 100 copies of one story and that's not enough to encourage kids to read. It's the variety of text that's important, not having a million copies of one book. What, we, what I would want myself, because this is driven by me, is to have as many different texts as possible for the zero to four range. So that would include illustrated alphabet books, that would include simple books with a picture and a word would include books based on the songs and things like that and ideally if we have enough money raised I can start paying indigenous people in the community to start writing books and be able to have them published as well. I wouldn't ask anyone to do this amount of work involved in this project that I'm doing without the capacity to be able to pay them and ideally I'd love to be able to go down the route of hiring a few authors. There are so many stories that can be told in this community and so much re resources and knowledge that could be put into Yungamata that isn't at the moment and that should be in the community, that should be in the home, but it's locked up in the school or in the university or somewhere else. But what needs to be is that we need to have books, in the home for the zero to four years so that kids can be read to in a language they understand. And I asked this question on my Facebook page and the responses I got really show, showed to me how important this topic is. I asked, how would you feel 
if you were told that it's very important to read to your kids every day, and you were told that if you didn't read to them, they would have a lower literacy level later in life, which is all true, but then you were provided with books that weren't in your language. Then you were provided with books that your kids couldn't understand the text of. That you were provided with books that if you read them to your kids, they wouldn't associate meaning with the text because you'd have to be explaining them in your first language they spoke in. How would you feel? And it was an interesting response because I have a lot of friends that are multilingual and they talked about how they would feel an amazing sense of guilt at not being able to provide their kids with the best possible start. And some people talked about how they would feel disengaged from the education system at that very point, at that very beginning of t teaching and learning. So I'd ask you to support us with money, or if you want to collect the backs of spiral bound notebooks and send it to us, please contact me. I'm happy to give you our address. But we need money to do this. So please support me getting books out there. Thank you.